This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, we are going to create a sales tax group. Now, the reason why you may need to create a sales tax group is because QuickBooks only allows you to choose one sales tax item on any invoice that you create. For example, I have a sample invoice here. And if you look towards the bottom of the invoice, towards the tax area, you'll see local sales tax, which is, in this example, 4.75%. I created this sales tax item in Lesson 5-2. If I click the drop-down arrow, you'll see the state sales tax item that I created in Lesson 5-3. Now, sometimes you may do business with customers that only have to pay state sales tax, and sometimes you may do business with customers that only have to pay local sales tax. But how do you charge the customer that has to pay state and local sales taxes? Well, QuickBooks only allows you to choose one sales tax item at a time. You can't choose local sales tax and state sales tax. The only way to charge both items is to create a sales tax group. Before you create the group, you must create each individual sales tax item because when we're creating the group we're going to choose the sales tax items that we want to belong in the group. If you do not know how to create a sales tax item refer to lessons 5-2 or 5-3. Now to create a sales tax group click the lists menu then go down to item lists. At the bottom left corner you can click item and then click new or you can press Control N on your keyboard. And it's going to bring you to the New Item window. Now from the Type drop-down menu, select Sales Tax Group. Type in a name for the group in the Group Name Slash Number field. I'm going to simply type in Sample 1 Tax. You can type in a description if you choose to. Now here's where you're going to select the sales tax items that you want to include in the group. Now as I said a moment ago, the individual items must be created before you can add them to the group. I have only created two sales tax items, so I'm going to select both of those items. The first one is local sales tax, and I'm going to select state sales tax. Now at the bottom of this field, you can see that the group rate has been calculated. So this will be the total tax amount that's going to be charged to each one of my customers that are required to pay state and local sales tax. And once you have chosen all of your tax items, click OK to save it. And let's go back to the invoice to test it out. So from the QuickBooks home page, I'm going to select Create Invoices. And I'm going to pull up one of these sample invoices that I already created. And at the bottom of the window in the tax field, if I click the drop down arrow, you'll see that sample one tax is now an option. If I select it, you see the tax rate of 10%. And as you saw a moment ago, that 10% is a combination of the local sales tax rate and the state sales tax rate. And that's how you group sales tax items. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.